Thank you. As you all know, the ice in the Arctic Ocean is melting, and it poses new challenges, but also new opportunities for Greenland. If you look at the, at the charts, the square kilometers of the Arctic ice has been depleting for the past few decades, and it continues to melt. It poses new opportunities at, as it has been presented by the previous sessions. For Greenland, this is an opportunity in regards to the natural resources and the living resources and the biological resources that the Greenland has abundance of. If we look at the most advanced mineral projects, we have a few projects that uh, we like to share with you today. First is the iron ore deposit in Isugesia in the Nuuk, uh, in near Nuuk. It presents a considerable iron ore with more than one billion tons of iron ore. And we uh, gave an exploitation license in October 2013. And there has been agreed uh, an impact benefit agreement in the summer of 2016. They are, there is a True North Gyms in Abrutok, a mine that is uh, starting its production this summer, producing world-class ruby and sapphires. It lays about uh, 100 kilometers due south of Nuuk. Then we have the Hudson Resources project of Anotosite, which lays in the Kangasluswak Fjord. The mine is starting this summer and is estimating to produce up to 0.5 tons, million tons of anotocyte every year. If we look at the, the proposed mining projects, then we have the Iron Bark Sink Limited uh, with lays in Citronenfjord in the far north, a sink and lit project which has an estimated capex of uh, 430 million US dollars and the ore is estimated to be between 70 to 132 million tons and the production is estimated to last in 14 years. Then we have uh, the rare earth elements in South Greenland which also contains uranium uh, a multi-element project uh, in the Kvernifjell, which is the first one, and the second one is uh, Tanbury's project, which also lies, lays just across the Kvernifjell. I think uh, John Mayer is going to present uh, his project himself. Besides water and ice, we have one of the largest freshwater deposits in the world, and Greenland possesses the second largest resource besides Antarctica. And we have uh, granted a few licenses giving grants to produce water for bottled water in Kortaswak near Nuuk and in South Greenland. We have enormous hydropower potential across the entire Greenland due to the fjords and the high laying lakes that we have across Greenland. We anticipate that uh, the hydropower potentials will be utilized in the future. We have currently five hydropower plants and we 
are planning to extend with additional two plants in the coming years. And for the industrial purpose, we anticipate that there might be up to three hydropower plants to be used besides the several use hydropower potential that we have. We have enormous enzymes and genetic resources that we have plenty of, but I think uh, it's enough to just to give you a few clues of the natural resources that are more advanced. Um, so thank you. <laughs>